Hello, hello, and welcome to Surviving Mars. Last we left off, there were a couple of anomalies which were dropped on us. I am not sure if we've actually dispatched our rovers to go check them out. The rovers are checking something out. So I am just going to anyway assign them to it. We have quite a few ion storms. We've got one, two, three, four. And that's wreaking havoc on both our oxygen and water. Now we have some reserves of oxygen over here. So I'm guessing we should be fine. Right, so we'd set up this dome, a bunch of rockets sitting here. And I'm gonna send them all back to Earth. What is this? This is research, 1%, 2% of our research. I'm guessing this is research which is getting done over here. Isn't it? We have a research facility over here. Right. Nonetheless, uh, we are progressing quite well, I would have to say. What are you missing? You're missing metal. Do we have... We were supposed to have metal here, but we don't have it here anymore. So let's quickly send some dudes over to fetch us some metal. Is that metal? That's waste rock. Are we low on metal? Well, actually we're not that low on metal. This has no metals though. All the metals that are being dropped here are immediately being taken by the shuttles. Hmm. Right, let's give it a little bit of time. I'm guessing that will normalize itself. There's a lot of metal which is required for a lot of these repairs which have to be done. Yeah, we keep having crop failures every freaking year. How much longer for these? We have one soul and seven hours more. Wow, that's a lot. That is a lot. You are idle? Why the hell are you idle? There are anomalies to be checked out, my friend. I guess this one was behind the menu, so we didn't quite get that one in vocation oriented something just finished that's okay uh ooh, what is this a dude smelling plants vocation building that allows colonists to experience with virtual reality counts towards workshop milestone we have a workshop milestone all right if you say so uh right so what did we want to get here orbital engineering space elevator Offers resupply materials and prefabs at preferential prices. Okay. Localized terraforming. Never wonder. Geoscope dome. A slice of earth on Mars. High comfort increases sanity. I'm guessing this is like a massive dome. Large scale excavation. Concrete directly from Martian soil without requiring a deposit. Ooh, that would be useful. That would definitely be useful. But I think we are going to go for the arcology. Actually, let's finish some of the other ones which cost us lesser. Uh, medical center, smart home. Yes, let's get the smart home. Let us indeed get the smart home. Somebody is dead. Why did you die? Oh, health is dropping here. Health is dropping because oxygen is a problem. The oxygen here stabilized the red and then here we are having problems. We could get a moxie here but we don't have any water that's getting produced here. So that's kind of like one of the issues. Although seems like we have three colonists dead. 
Oh my God. So if all the colonists here die, I need to bring one more rocket full of people, which would just be 12. I think that is much better. There's no fuel for shuttles, right? Because the ion clouds are right on top of our fuel. This is a large water tank. This needs, this is the problem though, isn't it? Yeah, right. Uh, I hope it's in the same dome. It is indeed in the same dome. We have, we have no metal here, right? So if all these colonists die out, we won't have any metal there. Let's, right. Let's quickly get a shuttle with a bunch of metal. I mean, this is ridiculous. We're wasting money for what? For actually nothing much. But still, I want to get the oxygen here because I don't want this oxygen tank with so much of oxygen not being able to give the oxygen back. And this needs metal too. Yes, yes, colonists are dying left, right and center. I know that. What do you want me to do? They are breathing, which seems to be the problem. Wow, each colonist dies, two people leave the pool. That's pretty bad. So how do we get this up and running? The only way is for us to get metal. There is no other way. There's a bunch of metal here. So let me quickly get you. Pause the game for a bit. Let me get you here to transport all of the metal from here to here. And let me grab all of you guys here and have you come over here. Unfortunately, I don't think you can do much. Let's just prioritize this and prioritize this. And let's hope we are in time to save some colonists from dying. There's a dude who died, right? Oh my God, that looks so gnarly. Yikes. Looks very peaceful though. Looks like he's flying. Right, let's shoot all of you guys back home. And let's get you drop down here as well. As a priority because I need the metal to come in to save some of us. Yes, yes, two more. Oh, Scheiser, they're getting, they're dying here as well. We need to get this up and running. We need to get this Moxie up. Right, so quite quickly what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop myself another Moxie over here. Just in case, if there is another spate of deaths. It's not that I enjoy this spate of deaths, but I surely don't want another. So let's get a Moxie down here and let's get a... Um, what do you call it? An oxygen tank. Let's hope that they build it up as soon as possible. So we have something to go with. The drones are bringing the metal over, which should be good. The ion clouds are gone, which means our oxygen should be up again. But there's a bunch of repairs which need to be done here. This basically seems to have collapsed on itself. This needs metal too. Everybody needs metal. Hmm. And you are a water tower. Right. Another set of anomalies. So let's quickly pause. Zoom out. And let's get our rovers to go over. Check this out. Check this out. There were four, right? Oh yeah, there's one here. 
check this out and you my friend will check this out let me just double up on them anomalies and see if I can get another pod with a bunch of metal in it to launch come down here just in case a lot of our water towers and oxygen tanks are getting affected there's a bunch of solar panels as well but we've got 221 so that's all right we don't have a prop send some of our botanists to help oh it's famine in another colony all right no one said that surviving mars is easy invite them over we gained 10 glutton colonists well we actually lost a bunch of colonists so should be fine i guess so let's get a bunch of colonists they are gluttons but that should be fine we have enough food do we do we have enough food where is food list we have four 0.5k food we have four and a half thousand of food that's good enough this is that old drone which died on us We need metal and we need it fast. Positronic brain is complete. We're working on nocturnal adaptation. 3D machining. Orbital probes are cheaper and can deep scan. I mean, is that necessarily extractor amplification? That could be good. Atomic accumulator for energy, deep scanning. Yeah, let's get deep scanning. Because we're we're gonna be done with our scanning anyway. So deep scanning would definitely be useful for us. 100% and our little pod is ready to be deployed right next to the lake. Speaking of, the lake has 100% water so is is this green thing all around it fungi looks like it that should be fine fungi should really help us what are you guys doing you guys will come here and you guys will help us fix all of this aren't you going to i guess they're getting deployed anyway so Oh, they're, they're taking it real far. They are dumbasses as expected. Our metal is still low. My friend, we will need you. I can send you out and let's get ourselves geologists. Filter, specialization. I don't need none here and then get myself all the geologists I can and whatever's left over shall be what? Let's get botanists. Yeah, apply. It's a lot of botanists. I think we lost a lot of geologists just because um, we had them not come to us because of the whole Colonists dying out shindig. It's not ideal. We are still missing two oxygen. That's basically because of this, isn't it? Yes, indeedy. Seems like it. Let's get a cargo rocket with as much metal as we can. And let's launch you. And you will come down here with all of this metal. Earth has to help us. Some point of time, we sent them a lot of rare metals. So, hey, give us some of your normal metals back. 
this is turning out to be pretty useless isn't it or is it actually giving rise to algae or some some such thing i am not sure i'm wondering if i should uproot this from there and bring it over here right next to the lake is that going to contribute to anything or is that just going to contribute to this vegetation number here i am not sure so we shall see so we have two of these coming down this is a passenger rocket traveling to mars so cargo rocket traveling to mars and this is traveling to earth where are the 10 glutton colonists that whichever colony it is that i helped told me that they would send over crop failure is crop failure that's like that's that that's it like what do you want me to do about it i'm not going to do anything about it because i can't it's filling out less water is it maybe i don't know how is there a food shortage with this humongous amount of food over here there is a huge amount of food. only 75 million did i prematurely shoot it out I don't know, I could have. There, you can't have a food shortage. It's just not possible. Look at this. Look at this massive surplus of food that we have. You are the cargo rocket, aren't you? Let me do that again. Uh, 70 tons of metal. You will come down here. And you are the people's. You will come. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, can I cancel it? Can I cancel it? I cannot cancel it. Can I transfer? Let's go to the control center. Check out the domes. And I am pretty sure. What? They have names for the goddamn domes. I don't know what. The name is uh, okay. That's fine. Set immigration policy. Policy okay. Use passages for services. All right. Birth control path. Why? Why would I want to control birth? I do not want to control birth. Lamas. Are you called Lamas? What is your name? Yes, you are Lamas. I will need more people for you. I am sorry. But I will have to get another passenger rocket. Only 10 people. Because we don't. And Pearl Jr. is here yet again. We have 9 people with a bunch of geologists. Let's go back to the filter. And let's get non-specialization as well. There it is. Filter, age group, I do not want them seniors. Do not want these also. These are good. Okay. Filter again. No, I think this is fine. Let's launch this bad boy and let's bring him down here. We made the mistake of bringing these people here. They were not supposed to come here. I just hope there's enough living space for all of them. Oh, there seems to be. Uh, very less space for growth, but that's all right. That shouldn't be much of a deal. Eight billion. We are earning money somewhere, aren't we? I think we need to queue some of these up. And let's kind of go around and try and see if we can get some surface metal with our rovers. What resource are you? 
you are concrete why is there a bunch of concrete there was i planning on building something there most likely was oh yes yes sir there is a bunch of metal here so you will come here wow there's a lot of metal here so you will get all this metal and you will bring it here to this metal storage you my good sir will come up here to this bit of metal here you will load up on the metal and you will bring it back here as well right with that we should get a little bit of metal in again this is ready to launch uh, with rare metals that should give us some funding not that we necessarily need it and we have another rocket coming down with food and a bunch of passengers over here it's unfortunate that a couple of these people died but hey what can we say death is a part of colonizing ask the british they'll tell you all about it it's funny i've been seeing a bunch of these stand up comedians and it's funny how they focus on the british and they like oh yeah colonization britain britain colonization britain britain a lot of people did it a lot of them did indeed do it right nocturnal adaptation is complete actually we doing it right now if you think about it we are colonizing mars there are no martian peoples here that doesn't change the fact that we are indeed colonizing them okay let's wait before we make another decision because there's a lot of these things which i want and a lot of these things which i don't think i want let's just get the pro so let's finish all the tier 1 ones i don't know where tier 1 ends but let's just get the cheaper ones first this is done so oxygen is back up to 7 there's a little bit of shortage of water um you are make you don't have okay that's unfortunate let's get a dumping site here somewhere oh shortage of space much uh we need to get a bunch of smaller dumping sites then. so let's get one here let's get one here and here that should be fine those drones should be able to like clean them up pretty well they are not enough for sure but at least we got the water back up again it's working uh it's still at zero water production is equivalent to demand which makes me think that we are wasting water somewhere i don't know where probably dumping it into the lake because the atmosphere is not good enough to sustain water yet i don't know but we got lakes right the lakes did get unlocked which basically means that the water is fine so if i put it here it doesn't have to be on top of the water as long as the water is in the tiny blue circle i think So let's get that there and let's get a large water tank pretty close to it. Let's say here. This oxygen and moxie is up again. I think that's why we got 7 here. Uh there is definitely room for a moisture vaporator here which we don't have but there's a lot of dust producing infra which is around this place. How big is this dome? The dome's definitely not big enough. 
I think we need to get ourselves another tiny little dome here. So we can connect this to that dome and from that we can access both of this. So let's see what domes we have available. We have a medium dome which we can't fit here. So for me to fit that I need to like remove this. So we need to go into terraforming I think or is it landscaping? Landscaping I guess. And we need to flatten this bit of land. like so if i was to do this they'll take all of this crap and they'll dump it here that should be fine this one's pumping water out uh it's working around the clock 0.6 water getting to us 22.3 so the production has gone down, but so has demand. This is fascinating. So if I keep producing more water, it's actually not giving me more water. There it is. There she is. 17 water. That's a good surplus of water. Oh. Oh my God. There it is again some more ion clouds ion storms for three sols three sols are you serious at least my critical is taken care of and the fuel cells are free so that should be fine what's affected here is basically stuff that i have replicated in other places the only problem is that i i need to have an rc commander come up here that's fine and over here we've got power power is getting damaged but we have so much power so much surplus power that it should be fine yeah shoot you out uh one more which i will shoot out shortly when we get back so i'll put a quick cut in this video thank you for watching do like and subscribe if you like the content that i'm putting out and we are on twitter too and our handle is Kalier OTG. That's Kalier on the go. Kalier OTG. Uh, do subscribe to Twitter or I don't know what you do on Twitter. I'm, I'm very new to Twitter. But yeah, I think it's a nice place to share ideas and it's a nice place to follow some of the interesting people that I follow. And you get information so soon. You know, it's like what's happening with this game get on twitter and you have a 140 character blurb of what's actually happening there which could help you so that's nice um and yes comment if you want to share something i really appreciate the comments which have come in uh and yes they really do motivate me to keep making these videos and pushing them out so see you in a bit take care now Bye-bye then.